All right, what's going on guys? Bangalina here coming back at you with another video. Today we are doing another trade reaction. Okay, and originally I wasn't going to make a video on this. That's why it's kind of late getting out. It's probably going to be close to six by the time this is actually out. And, you know, I figured he's my favorite player. I might as well make a video talking about Adrian Peterson to the Arizona Cardinals as this trade just went through, you know, today. Uh, I did put a tweet out about it. Uh, if you really wanted my quick opinion, but I didn't really do anything opinionated in the tweet. I thought it was pretty funny. It's on the screen now if you want to check it out. Um, New Jersey just arrived in the mail. Super excited for Adrian Peterson's career to take off with the Saints. Yeah, it was decent. Maybe I'm worth a Twitter follow. Link to that is in the description, twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. But um, a lot of people are out here saying, you know, Adrian Peterson's washed. Adrian Peterson's trash. This trade doesn't matter. Adrian was terrible on the Saints. His career's over. There's no need for Adrian Peterson anymore. This, this breaks my heart. As Adrian Peterson is my favorite player of all time. You know, I watched him in college at Oklahoma. You know, even as Oklahoma was a rival of my favorite school, Texas. Um, you know, I just liked Adrian Peterson a lot. Came into the NFL as my favorite player after Tiki Barber retired uh, with the Giants. And... You know, you've I've watched him be so amazing, destroy defenses, just dominate like he was the best player on the field because a lot of the times he was, like, way better than anybody else. And then, you know, some stuff happens, tears his ACL. Everyone's like, there's no way he can come back from this. AP is over. No running back comes back from a torn ACL, especially this old. He comes back, he wins the MVP. Then he's out for a little while, you know, little little switch to the kid. Yeah, yeah, child abuse. He's out for a while, comes back. Is okay with the Vikings. Nothing special, but still pretty good. A solid running back. And then, you know, the Vikings are like, we're going to go a different direction. We're going to draft Dalvin Cook, sign Latavius Murray. We're not going to bring you back at free agency. So I think they ended up releasing Adrian to get rid of that contract. And then the Saints signed him. And you could tell from the start that this was not the right call. Because the Saints run... I want to say what I'd call a spread offense, where it's not power run oriented at all. Even though they do have Mark Ingram, they drafted Alvin Kamara because he's more of their typical running back. He fits Sean Payton's scheme better. Adrian Peterson's like, hmm, draft a running back, already have established running back in Mark Ingram, even though he's not great. I'll go where I can split carries with three different backs in a pass heavy offense. That should be good for me. And now, a lot of people were saying that, and they're like, yeah, Adrian Peterson so, stu uh, so stupid to go to the Saints. I don't think he got a lot of other offers. I really don't think he did. I know he wanted to go to the Giants, my favorite team, which I would have loved. Just, you know, you dream about seeing your favorite player go to your favorite team. Uh, if You know, your favorite player is not on your favorite team. And I just thought about that the entire career. I put Adrian Peterson on the Giants and Madden and trade for him. You know, when I was doing Giants franchises for fun. And um, I thought, oh... Finally, AP wants to go to the Giants. The Giants could use a running back. And then the Giants have no interest in Adrian Peterson whatsoever. He ends up going to the Saints. I really think that was probably one of his only offers. I think maybe he got an offer from one other team. I don't think it would have been the Cardinals because David Johnson was healthy. And the only reason the Cardinals have gone out and traded for Adrian Peterson is because David Johnson's injured. They do need a running back. Chris Johnson obviously is not going to cut it. Um, neither is Andre Ellington. But I think Adrian Peterson is going to benefit from this scheme. Even though I don't think it's his ideal scheme, I think he'd benefit from an offense uh, closer to what the Browns run or closer to what the Dolphins have run in the past. You know, kind of a, a Ram system maybe where it's more power run oriented instead of, you know, spread offense, quick passes, um, dink and dunk down the field. And really it's just pass heavy and your backs need to be able to block and catch passes. There aren't a lot of power run opportunities uh, in that spread style offense of the New Orleans Saints. But I think in the Cardinals, even though they do pass to the running back quite a lot, I think they are more power run oriented, well, may, way more than the Saints, of course. I think the Saints are one of the like heaviest spread offenses in the NFL in terms of uh, passing the ball and you know least power run. I think Adrian Peterson's going to fit in better with the Arizona Cardinals. I'm not sure if he's going to be dominant because you, you look at AP and you're like, He's 32 years old now, definitely in the twilight of his career, unfortunately, but I still think he has a lot left in the tank. He's a freak athlete. He's been good. It's as recent as a couple of years ago, you will go back and he's, you know, well over a thousand yards and 
double-digit touchdowns. I think AP still got it. I think he's going to have the chance to show it off. Um, in Arizona, they have a better run-blocking offensive line. You look at Mike Iapati, you look at Jared Veldier, who I, I think is healthy. So their offensive line is a little bit better than the Saints, and they they fit Adrian Peterson's play style a bit more. He's going to get carries. I think they're going to try and use him a lot like they use David Johnson. Maybe he'll play well. Maybe he won't. I obviously really hope he plays well. Um, you know, I really don't like to see any player really play poorly in the NFL. You know, I'm rooting for everybody. Like, even though I don't think Deshaun Watson's all that good, I'm not rooting for him to fail. I want him to be to be good. I want him to be sick in the NFL. He's a really exciting player to watch. Uh, but, you know, hoping the best for Adrian Peterson. I think he fits the Saints, excuse me, the Cardinals offense better than he fit the Saints offense. Hopefully the Cardinals use him in a way uh, that's conducive to pounding the rock, waiting for him to just break one open because he does have that potential still. But I guess thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. I think it's going to be very mixed. But uh, thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.